are starting a brand new series on the subject of authority, the authority of the believer, something that every believer needs to know about. If you don't know about authority, the devil can have his way in your life. But once you get a revelation of the authority that you possess, that Jesus give you, Mm. hey, you can walk in victory every day of your life. That's right. And I'm talking through any circumstance that the enemy could bring your way. Mm-hmm. There's nothing the devil has. Well, we'll get, I'll be done taught the message if I ain't careful, but, <laughs> but there's nothing that he, when you have that revelation and know your authority, there's nothing that the devil has an answer for. That's right. <clears throat> sure and does I, not. You having authority over the devil is one of the first things that the Holy Spirit comes to teach you. Yeah, John 16, we see that. That's one of the first things that the Holy Spirit comes to teach you. And he's wanting to teach you. And I'm telling you, he's going to teach you tonight. He's going to teach me tonight. That's he's right. going to teach us, I That's promise right. you, by the spirit of wisdom and revelation in Jesus' name. That's right. Let's get started before so, we get to preaching. <laughs> so we're going to start out in Genesis chapter 1. You know, we got to go all the way back to the beginning and see the way God ordained it to be from the very beginning. That's right. So when you go to Genesis chapter 1, you look at verse 26. He said, Let us make man in our image according to our likeness. And he said, Let them have dominion. Let who have dominion? Mankind? Let the devil have have dominion? You know, who's going to have dominion here in this earth? Let man have dominion. Mm -hmm. And You know, before that he said, According to our likeness, in yep. our image and according to our likeness, does God have dominion? Oh, yeah. He's you know? got all power. That's right. So we should have dominion just like God because we have been created in his likeness. Well, that, that's, that was our source of dominion. That's where it came from. That's you right. know what I mean? So he <clears throat> says, let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. Yep. <clears throat> so we see from the very beginning that God gave mankind dominion over everything. Yeah. Over all the works of his hands, ma- uh, mankind had dominion. Yep. I tell you what, let's look at uh, Psalms 8. Uh, unless you're done with uh, No, go ahead. Let's look let's read Psalms 8. <clears throat> all right. Listen to this. I'm going to get this thing situated. <laughs> All right, Psalms chapter 8. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in the earth. I want you to notice right there, he starts out this chapter with the name of the Lord, and he finishes this chapter with the name of the Lord. That's that's where the power and that's where the authority is at. It's in his name. That's right. We'll get into that. He says, how excellent is thy name in the earth, who has set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings have you ordained strength because of your enemies, that they would steal the uh, that they would steal the enemy and the avenger. When I considered the heavens, the work of your fingers, and the moon and stars, and how you have ordained, listen to this: What is man that you are mindful of him? All right, I want you think about. All right, let me just finish this. What is man that you are mindful of him and the son of man that you would visit him? For you have made him a little lower than the angels. That word angels right there is Elohim. It actually means uh, God or spirituals and stuff like that. He says that you have actually made him a little lower than you. That's right. You know, that would that would make an angel jealous right there. That, you know, because it it started out in the beginning, when you read Genesis chapter one, we see four kingdoms that are in Genesis chapter one. We see God's kingdom. We see the angelic kingdom. We see the animal kingdom and we see the plant kingdom. That's right. And that's the order. That was the order in the beginning. It was God. It was angels. It was animals and it was plants. Each one had dominion over the other. You know, in other words, uh, Animals had dominion over plants. Why? Because that's what they fed off of. You know what I mean? They had dominion over that. And plants didn't have dominion or couldn't have dominion over animals. I mean, it wouldn't work like that. And then you can see right here, something's something's going on during creation. Something's happening here. It's what is man that you are mindful of him? 
What is the son of man that you that you would visit him or that you would become actually become a man? Uh, for you have made him a little lower than you. That's actually what 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 is talking about when it when it says angels right there. It's talking about you have made him a little lower than Elohim. Mm -hmm. You have made mankind a little lower than Elohim. In other words, every the the uh, bottom three kingdoms out of the first four kingdoms, they were fixing to take a rank down. Every one of them was fixing to go down one rank to make room for mankind. Right. I mean, angels were fixing to go down a rank. They were no lo longer right under God's dominion. They were fixing to be under the dominion of mankind. That's right. And uh, you can actually see this in uh, Hebrews chapter 1. It says, it talks about how the ministers are, are ministering angels or spirits sent forth to minister for the heirs of salvation. Sent forth to minister for us. <clears throat> All right, so let's go on. So if I, if <clears throat> you said, right in Hebrews, it says that angels are sent forth to minister for us. Yeah. If, if angels had dominion over us, we would be ministering for the, for angels. the angels. And that ain't how it works. That's right. We're the one that... that we we are the ones that get to handle God's word. Right. Angels can't handle God's word the way that we can handle God's word. Right. You know what I mean? <clears throat> All right. What is man that you are mindful of him and the son of man that you would visit him? For you have made him a little lower than the angels. You've made him a little lower than Elohim. You have crowned him with glory and honor. You have made him to have dominion over the works of your hands. That's what we just read in Genesis one twenty six. You have made him to have dominion. You've made mankind to have dominion. You didn't make angels to have dominion. Right. All right. You have made him to have dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet. My Lord have mercy. That's, mm, that's ooh, dominion taught right there. That's, that is. That's, that's when, when you have dominion, when you have authority, Whatever you have dominion and authority over is under your feet. That's right. You know, you think about in Genesis chapter three when uh, if you if you get to where you need to talk, Dave, get it. <laughs> <laughs> I know sometimes when I get to talking, I'll get aggressive and I'll, I'll hog this whole session. <laughs> but you know, in Genesis chapter three, when God cursed the uh, when God cursed the serpent, He said that that uh, the beast of the field would tread them under their under the serpent under their feet. In right. other words, the serpent was cursed because something had dominion over them. Mm -hmm. In other words, nothing has dominion over if God gave us his dominion. And for for something like cancer, sinus problems and stuff like that to have dominion over us, that means it's a, it's the curse, the curse of the law, Galatians uh Galatians 3:13 that we've been set free from, Deuteronomy 28. You know what I mean? Right. And for for something that is under our feet, mm, good Lord, have mercy. Just thinking, you know, the reason that serpent was cursed was because it was under something else's feet. Yeah. You know, all of this stuff that we face on a daily basis is already under our feet. It's the cursed one, not us. We're the blessed of the Lord. We're the healed of the Lord. You know, my Lord, whoo. You have made him to have dominion over the works of your hands, and you have put all things under his feet, all the sheep, all the oxen, the beasts of the field, the fowl of the air, the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passes through these seas. O oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all of the earth. Golly. Mm. So Glory to God. He closed it. How excellent is your name in all the earth. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it's through the... It's through the name that we have this dominion. Yep. Without the name, we have no dominion. We'll get more into Golly. that uh, mm. in a little bit. But let's look at, uh, let's go to Luke chapter four, because there's something in here that's going to that shed a little light on something that happened to our dominion. Yeah. Yeah. I got you. In Luke chapter four, we're going to go to verse six. All right. So right here is where Jesus has just been baptized. All right, so he it says that the, the the Holy Spirit drove him into the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights, and he fasted, he was tempted of the devil, and this is where we're at right here, the Satan tempting him. Yeah. All right, in verse 6, let me start in verse 5. It says, Then the devil, taking him up high on a mountain, showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. What did we just talk about? The kingdoms, 
the the five the four kingdoms that were in the beginning, which was now five kingdoms after creation. It was God, it was man, it was angels, it was animals, and then it was plants. The kingdoms of the world. So God, so Satan showed Jesus these kingdoms right here in a moment of time. All right, it says the devil said to him, "All of this authority, I will give you." So the only only kingdoms he could have showed him was the ones that he had authority over. Yeah. He couldn't show him the kingdom of God because he didn't have the he didn't have authority over the kingdom of God. Mm-hmm. So he says, the devil said to him, All of this authority I will give you and their glory for this. This is the key phrase right here. For this has been delivered to me, and I will give it to whomever I wish. That's how that's how the devil tempted Jesus with that, offering him the kingdoms of this world, everything that had been given over into his hands. But and didn't he even say, he says, I'll give it unto whoever I want because it was delivered unto me. That's what he said. He said, for this has been delivered. The kingdoms of the me. world, not the kingdom of God, the kingdoms of this world had been delivered into Satan's hand, the devil's hands. How was that? How did that happen? You got to go to Genesis chapter 3. And you see in the fall of man, when when Adam and Eve sinned, you know, that they broke. It was a breach of, you could say a breach of contract yeah. or whatever. A, a breach, high treason. Yeah, they committed high treason. Well, that everything that God had given them dominion over fell over into Satan's hand because they disobeyed God. Mm. You know, it's just like having a contract and you breaking the the fine print in that contract, yep. you know, their fine print was to believe God and don't partake of that tree. Yep. Well, they, <clears throat> they broke the, the contract and it fell over into Satan's hands. That's what he says right here in verse six. He says that this dominion was delivered unto me. Yeah. Adam delivered it to him. Adam and Eve delivered it to him. Here, you you want our contract? I'm fixing to eat the. I'm fixing to eat this fruit. I'm fixing to sin. I'm fixing to disobey God's word, breach this contract. However you want to look at it, I'm fixing to give you this contract, this lease that I have in this earth. I'm gonna give it to you, and you can see that that God leased this earth earth to mankind in Mark chapter twelve. Uh, mankind had a lease right on this earth, and and that lease right that was given to was given to the devil. He, uh, Adam gave the devil that lease right. And, you know, Jesus came and, and took that lease right back to it, back and gave it to us or whatever. Right. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so <clears throat> that's one of the reasons that Jesus came, because man had lost this this first dominion. Yeah. What's it talking Is it Micah 4 and 8? Yep. You was reading earlier. Mm-hmm. You got that? I can. Read that right quick. Talks about the first dominion, how we would we would have this first dominion again. Micah four eight, and you, O tower of the flock, the stronghold of the daughter of Zion, unto you shall it come, even the first dominion, the kingdom shall come to the daughter of Jerusalem. He says that the first dominion's coming back. Yeah, it's coming into the hands of Israel, into the hands of mankind. Yeah, we you know anytime you see Zion on there, he's referring to the church. Yeah, Is that right. Yep. All right. So he says that the church would come back. You know that first dominion would come into the hands of the you could say the believing ones, the church, yep. the body of Christ. You know. So um, see when that, when Adam sinned, when you just think about it. <clears throat> all right, there was five kingdoms. There was God's kingdom. There was mankind, there was angel, angelic kingdom, there was animals, and there was plants. The, the second and third one, by Adam uh, committing high treason, breach of contract, giving that lease right over to the devil, the, the script flipped right there. You know, it was no longer God, man, angels. It was God, angels, man. man. That's, that's what happened. And that's why the devil, a fallen angel, has is called the prince of the power of the air, the god of this world, and stuff like that. That's why death and hell reigned for four thousand years. Death and rain had dominion, or death reign, death and rain, death reigned. Death had dominion for four thousand years on this earth. All right. So speaking of that first dominion, when Jesus came, he came in that first dominion yep. right there. Mm-hmm. All right. So. You know, when you see Jesus healing the sick, casting out devils, all of these different things, he's preaching what? The kingdom of God. Yeah. 
All right, so the kingdom of God, when he's preaching that kingdom of God, he's in that first dominion, you know, doing all of these works that Adam should have done in the very beginning. Yep. Yeah, Adam so, had access to it. He had, right. he had the name. So, I mean, you see everything had to answer to what Jesus was doing. And Jesus came as a man. Mm -hmm. He laid all his deity down. He laid, he come down as the son of man, not the son of God. That's right. All right. So he came and showed us what Adam should have done when that serpent appeared in the garden. Mm. <clears throat> you know, you just, when Adam, you know, if he had a garden out there, was it Charles Cap says, how's he going to keep the elephants out of the garden? Yeah. He's going to use that dominion. Yep. Hey, don't come over here. You stay over there. Yep. And it wasn't going to have to be no, in the name of Jesus, I come in. Mm -hmm. You know, they were, I mean, they were going to bow down to Adam. Everything obeyed, you know. I mean, he was clothed in the glory of God. Golly. Mm. So, I mean, when he walked through that garden, they seen the likeness and the image of Elohim. Uh, mm, yeah. the, you know the creator of the heavens and the earth golly mm. that's that is the dominion that jesus came to restore to mankind that's right you know i don't care what it is we he said that we would be tempted he said there would be trials there'd be tribulations you know but he says he has already overcome the world also. Already overcome these trials and tribulations and situations so and circumstances. If he's already overcome <clears throat> them and we are in him, we don't have to overcome them. Mm. All we got to do is walk in this dominion and command all these things to cease, yep. to stop, to get out of here in the name of Jesus. Good Lord, yes. I don't care if it's sickness. I don't care if it's disease. I don't care if it's sinuses. In the name of Jesus, they have to obey that first dominion. That's they have right. to obey the name of Jesus Christ. They have to because because they're the cursed ones. It's under our feet. That's you right. know what I mean? That sickness, that disease like we were talking about, it's under our feet. He has placed all things under our feet. Glory be to God. Ah, Lord, have mercy. That a that will fire you up just thinking about it. Mm. You know, <clears throat> and you know, we, I tell you something else, just thinking about this. We we always, I'm, I'm not, I'm saying we in general, not me and you, but people always get caught up waiting on God to do something. Yeah. Okay. You know, you know, God, it would be unjust for God to come to this earth and do something. I mean, right now, it would be unjust for him to, to just come down here and have his way in this earth. Yeah. You know, all right, you think about if I just lease 500 acres down the road, and, I, and I, some, I'm talking some prime deer hunting land. I signed a six-year lease on this land from this uh, timber company. Will this timber company come in and hunt this land with me all, all winter? Not if you have the lease agreement. If I it. have the lease agreement... It would be unjust for them to come over, come, to come do it, to come to come hunt on my deer land. Yeah, unless I give them access to come do things. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? If if I'm buddies or if I'm friends or if my daddy owns that timber company, oh yeah, that we he's just gonna come come uh, hunt with us. You know what I mean? And you know that's that's the way it is. God can't just come have his way in this earth over uh, over people's wheels and stuff like that. He gave this lease right to mankind. It would be unjust for him to just come down here and whoop the devil every time the devil tries to get on our back. You know what I mean? God is, he's limited by our prayer life. Yeah. Our prayer life is what gives him the legal right to intervene in our life. And I tell you something else, you know, was it Amos 3, 7? God won't do anything in the earth unless he first, first reveals it to his prophets. You know, by God revealing something to his prophets, his, his prophets will, they will uh, make that revelation known. They'll prophesy by word of wisdom or whatever, you know, they'll speak that out of their mouth. And that gives God legal entryway to come into this earth. Right. I, I don't believe that Jesus could even come to this earth I, the only reason I believe that Jesus was able to come to this earth is, first was because Abraham, because yeah. Abraham spoke it out of his mouth that that God was going to come and be a sacrifice for us. Yeah. God, he said, God will provide Himself a lamb. Yeah. Mm. If Abraham wouldn't have spoke that, then either Jesus could not have came, or somebody it would have been up to somebody, somebody else. else. I mean, my gosh, Whew, that fires me up just thinking about it. Next week, we'll get into how 
Jesus has brought that dominion back into our hands. Yep. And uh, Jesus is Lord. And he is coming soon.